Hello, guys. There was a problem with my computer. But I guess we are back, right? Give me just a moment to share the presentation so we can start with the class. Thank you, guys. Let's see. So uh, remember that we have classes these Fridays, right? Last Friday, I see some of you, but I remind you that we have classes. Okay, so let's see. Good evening, Tisa. Hello, Alpha, good to see you. Okay, Fine. Cool. I'm sorry, Alpha? Fine, very good. Okay, that's good, right? How was your weekend? <sighs> ¿Cómo se dice descansando? <laughs> relax, maybe? Relax. It was okay. a relaxed. Relax. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's see. Okay, let me know if you can see the presentation, please. Can you see? ¿Pueden ver la presentation? Can you see the presentation? Yes? Yes. Okay. yes. Thank you, Mario. Yes, miss. Okay, thank you guys. So let's get started with the lesson. And uh, just as a reminder, right, para recordarles que eh, we have the dates, right, for the platform, when you have to work with the platform. So these are going to be the dates. Estas son las fechas en las cuales usted debe trabajar las secciones. And uh, we have from the March 30 until April 4, you have to work section one and two right then you have the from five to eight you have to work section three and and the exam Esas son las fechas que tenemos que trabajar en la plataforma so uh para que no nos olvidemos del order right tenemos the from 18 to 21 we have the section four no sé si hay dudas por si no las hemos trabajado para que tomamos en cuenta las fechas, right? Okay, recordemos que esa es la nota importante para que usted pueda tener su diploma uh, as a, um, in English, right? That you have the knowledge in English. There you have, so we have the agenda for today's classes. We are going to have a review. We're going to start with the simple past and we're going to have some practices going to be the agenda for today's lesson. Okay, so let's start with some activities that you do may, maybe. We have, uh, for example, in your free time. What do you do in your free time, Mario Claros? What do you do in your free time? Do you check social media? Do you go dancing, listen to music, play video games? What do you do in your free time? And read and listen to music. A read and listen to music. What type of music do you listen? ¿Qué tipo de música? What type of music? ¿Cómo se dice chanchona? <laughs> chanchona. Let's stay with chanchona. Okay. Chanchona music. Okay, Chanchona. I'm going to look for that. That is, this is the first time I listen Chanchona. Okay. What songs? What canciones? What songs do you listen that are Chanchonas? <laughs> la Bala. Oh, la Salvadorian music, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. I like the music, Salvadorian music. Yes, right. It, that is part of our culture, the music. That's right. Okay, thank you, uh, Mario. What about uh, you, uh, Jolman? What do you do in your free time, Jolman? I, uh, I, I listen to music mm -hmm. and go out with my friends. You go out with your friends, okay. Yes. Where do you go out with your friends? Uh, usually... Uh, 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 we go to the park mm -hmm. or 
、えー、あ、えー、ハウス、or、あ、or、certain times、mm -hmm. it、えー、day Okay, that's that's good, right? To have different places, you go to the park, to your families, and so on. Yeah, those are some of the activities that we do, right? When we have free time. Okay, let's move on to this listening exercise. And uh, tell me what the listening is about. So let's listen. Listen. Then you tell me. Unit seven. We had a great time. Page 44, exercise two, conversation. Did you do anything special? Part A, listen and practice. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay, what is the listening about, guys? Who can tell me? De que se trata? What is the listening about? Yes, what did you listen? What did you, some idea <coughs> you got? Mm -hmm. uh, I remember uh, she, she went to karaoke mm -hmm. in, at night. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that, that is an idea, right? What else can you add? Thank you, Joman. What else can you add, Adonai, to that listening? What else can you add? Um, no le entendí muy bien, pero un poquitas palabras, pero no creo que... Mm -hmm. ¿Qué palabras? What yeah. words? ¿Qué palabras, Adonai? Pues solo que mencionó de sábado. Mm -hmm. Yes. No recuerdo las otras palabras, pero sí no tuve idea de lo que están hablando. Ok, but it was very close. Ok, thank you, Adonías. So, let's see what Unit seven. the listening is about, right? So, let's listen and then try to uh, read, right? To listen and mimic, right? And imitate the sounds. Tratemos de imitar los sonidos. En inglés una técnica muy... Buena es cuando usted escuche el audio y va repitiendo eh, tal como usted eh, lo escucha, right? Eso les va a ayudar with pronunciation and to have a better fluency. Okay, let's listen and try to read, right? Go. Unit time. Page 44, exercise 2, conversation. Did you do anything special? Part A, listen and practice. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun! Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay, there you have. So I'm going to choose some of you guys for you to help me. Maybe, uh, let's see, Jonathan Quinteros. Can you read the conversation, Jonathan? Are you there, Jonathan? Yes, teacher. Okay, so Jonathan, you're going to be uh, Rick. And uh, let's see, Sonia, can you help me with Meg? information hello Sonia sure. okay. Uh, okay can you help me with Max mm. information sí? okay, okay. Let's, okay let's start Jonathan yeah. y luego continua Sonia 
Okay, let's go. Okay. So what did you do last weekend, May? Oh, I had a great time. I went to karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How oh, fun did you do? Did you go do lucky? No, Gwen didn't. We went to that new place downtown. Mm -hmm. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekends. I used to stay home and study for today's Spanish stage. Oh, that is today? I forget about that. Don't worry. You always get... Don't worry. Hey. You always get an A. Perfect, okay. You always get an A. Okay, thank you. Always. Ok, thank you. So, maybe vamos a ver uh, la pronunciación también en esta lección cuando hablamos del pasado, right? So, basically, por ejemplo, cuando tenemos el pasado en stayed, eh, studied, studied, eh, si tenemos que hacer énfasis en el sonido que vamos a ver en esta lección también. Ok, I don't know if you have questions about a word, guys. ¿Hay alguna palabra? Any word? that maybe you don't know. Is there any word? He wore Lucas, Lucas. Lucas, Lucas. No, yes. it's a name, Lucas. Okay. Pero también okay. está la palabra lucky, right? Mm -hmm. Que significa suerte, you are lucky. Mm -hmm. Eres suertudo también, you are lucky. Mm -hmm. Puede significar como un nombre o también como el adjetivo Let's say you are lucky. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. They say bar and sun. How fun? How fun? Bar and sun. Bar. ¿En qué línea? Si me Arriba, ayuda. en la tercera. La tercera línea. Bar Arriba. and sun. Ah, okay, okay. This one. Karaoke, it is the karaoke bar and sang. Uh -huh. Es un, un bar de karaoke. Eso es donde cantan y ponen las letras. Sang, ¿qué, qué significa? En tenemos, lo vamos a ver en esta lección, que es el, el pasado. Tiene usted el verbo cantar, sin. Entonces sí. el pasado sería sang. Ah, ok. Canté. Vamos a ver okay. eso en this lesson. Ok. Okay, okay. say with us, any other question? No? Okay. So, vamos a ver a little bit about <laughs> this, this is past, and I want you to pay special attention porque este tema se utiliza a lot. Unit right. 7, page 4. Okay, so let's study the structure, right, of the simple past. Simple past. El, el, el tema que vamos a ver este día se llama simple past. Este lo vamos a utilizar con acciones que ya pasaron. Actions that already, que ya sucedieron, right? Ya sucedieron. Entonces, la estructura, the structure, la estructura es muy importante. Si estamos hablando de affirmative sentences, sentences, Vamos a seguir la siguiente estructura. Sujeto. Ok. Subject. ¿Cuál sería el sujeto? ¿Cuáles son los sujetos que conocemos? Uh -huh. sí. I, he, she. Ah, yes. Ah. Exactly. Todos esos. All of them. So, entonces, como estamos en afirmativo, vamos a utilizar el verbo. Verbo en simple past, right? El verbo, vamos a ver eso también, que existen dos tipos de verbos. El verb y simple past. Y luego agregamos el complemento. Complement. Okay. Ahora voy a tomar el verbo, por ejemplo, me bañé ayer. Digamos eso. Me bañé. No tengo la, 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 
eh, la letra ñ en este teclado. No, ok. Creo que me entienden. Ayer a las 8. Entonces, el verbo bañar es, sabemos que es take a shower, ¿verdad? Take a shower. Pero como es una actividad que hice yo el día de ayer, voy a buscar cómo se dice esto en pasado. Entonces, el pasado de take, ¿cuál sería? ¿Quién se recuerda cuál es el pasado de take? Took. Sería took. Exacto, took. Entonces, si sigo la estructura, tengo que utilizar el sujeto, sería I took a shower at 8 at o'clock. Ok, no sé si hay dudas with this, eh, with this part, no sé si hay dudas, questions. No. So, entonces les decía que tenemos two types of verbs. Los verbos que son regulares, los regulars, y los verbos que son irregulars. En el caso de los verbos regulars, we are going to add ed to the verb. For example, work, worth. Invite, invited. Study, studied. Stop, stopped. Si, estamos, si tenemos un verbo que es irregular, nos lo debemos de aprender. There is no other way. Por ejemplo, tenemos el verbo buy, comprar. En el pasado sería bought. El verbo do, hacer. Did. El verbo drive. Drove. Have. El verbo tener. En el pasado es had. Go. Went. Y el que vimos en el diálogo, sing, sang, cantar. Tenemos el siguiente que es sí y so, spend y spent. No sé si hay dudas, questions about the verbs o la estructura. No questions? No questions. Sí, okay. por... Perfect, José. Entonces tenemos as a question, right? Como pregunta. Vamos a utilizar el auxiliar did. Did. Did you work on Saturday? ¿Trabajaste el sábado? Entonces, ¿cuál es la, la estructura? El, el auxiliar did, subject, el verbo de la forma normal. Ok, don't forget that. And, el question mark. La respuesta puede ser corta. Yes, I did. I worked all day. Aquí, aquí vemos una oración afirmativa. En el caso que sea negativa, no, I didn't. I didn't work. Ok, no sé si hay dudas about the questions. No, ok. Entonces, eh, algo siempre que, algo que no olvidemos es cuando tengamos una en negativa, en negativa en este caso, y en pregunta, el verbo lo vamos a utilizar de la forma normal, a excepción de eh, la forma afirmativa que ahí tenemos que eh, conjugar el verbo. Ok, no sé si hay dudas o questions about the structure, about uh, something you have doubts. No sé si hay dudas, questions. No, ok. So, vamos a ver in the practice, right? Maybe in the practice you may have some questions. Ok, y don't forget the rules, right? No olvidemos que hay algunas reglas. When we are like adding the ED. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, en el caso de que agregamos ED, ED, eh, tenemos la, la regla, right? Eh, tenemos el verbo wish, de desear, en pasado sería wished, solo le agregamos ED. Tenemos el verbo date, dated, solo le vamos a agregar de, right? Tenemos el verbo carry, carry que es como llevar. Carry, vamos a cambiar. La Y y le vamos a agregar I E D. Ok, lo mismo pasa con el verbo study, right? Que lo cambiamos por I E D. Luego tenemos este verbo fit. Fit, vamos a duplicar la T. Fit es como encajar, right? En algo. Eh, vamos a duplicar la consonante fit, fit. Tenemos tap, tap. 
No sé si hay dudas about the rules. If not, I can continue. No? Ok. So, tenemos entonces también los que ya vimos, los verbos irregulares, right? Los que son go, went, have, had, take, and to. Ok, y ya vimos, right? Affirmative, el sujeto, the verb, and the complement. Negatives, subject, and did not. Y el verbo normal, right? You don't have to add anything. Ok, it's time to practice. Vamos a practicar. That entonces, okay, number one, can you help me with number one? Uh, maybe Joelman, can you help me with number one? We have to uh, mm -hmm. use right the simple present. This uh, is a question, remember, it's a question. Tenemos el verbo stay. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Did, did you stay home? No, sería did you stay at home? Okay. No, it's good. Did you stay right? Está bien si le agrego ed, No, no, no. We have to take it out, right? It's okay. <laughs> what about what about D? ¿Cómo nos quedaría? How would you do it, Jolman? Uh, la siguiente. Uh, mm -hmm. um, it says uh, no, right? No, no, I, I didn't. Ah, that's right. No, I didn't call, oh, right? My I, friend Anna. Okay, then we have we drive. We drove. Right? We, we drove. drove, right. Okay, thank you, Joelman. Okay, can you help me with number two, Mario Claros, please? Can you help me with number two? Hello, Mario. Excuse me, sorry. Este, uh -huh. How did you? Mm -hmm. How did you? Mm -hmm. Tenemos el verbo spend, right? Spend. Okay, how did you spend? spend. Okay, can I add it? Did you, how did you spend it? Is that correct? Será que es correcto? No. No, right. And even, if it's all the spent and spent, right? Está incorrecto. It is incorrect. Okay, continue, please, Mario. We have have. I had a party. I had, right. I had a party. Everyone? Every, everyone enjoyed it. Okay, everyone enjoy it. Okay, the next one, please, eh, Mario. But the neighbors not like it. Mm -hmm. It's negative. It is in negative. Como que auxiliar utilizamos in negative in the past? Didn't. Didn't, right? Didn't. No, it's okay. Thank you, Mario. Okay, number three, can you help me, Alpha, with number three? What did? Mm -hmm. What did you do? Do, do. Mm -hmm. last night? Yeah. I see, see. Mm -hmm. We have this, the verb, see, sí. como nos quedaría in the past, see, sí. sería so, right, el pasado, so, oh. mm -hmm. I saw a sci-fi movie. Mm -hmm. movie at the cineplex, mm -hmm. Le, uh, I, I did love, I Ok, tenemos el verbo love, me encantó, lo amé también, I loved, I loved, I loved it. Loved it. Thank you, Alfa. Hey, what about number four? Can you help me? Let's see, um, maybe Adonias, number four, Adonias, can you help me? 
did did you okay, did you do did you en este caso como es pregunta el verbo queda normal right did you do muy bien continue Adonías yes yes I yes sería I did right como es respuesta corta yes I did uh -huh. tenemos el verbo go cómo me quedaría in the past right went I okay. went I went, that's right. Unfortunately, tenemos el siguiente verbo que es spend. Yes, well, spend. That's right, spend. All my money. Now I'm broke. Okay, thank you, Adonias. Okay, and the last one, can you help me? And uh, let's see. Joelman, can you help me with the last one, please? Uh, did you did you go on, mm -hmm. on yes, Friday yeah. night? Yeah. Did you go oh. out mm -hmm. on Friday night? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, no, I didn't. That's right. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, I invite. Invite like this, as it invite and 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 past. Come on, Miguel, in past. How can I do this in past? In ella prono la con solo la grega la 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 de. We have uh, to add add right. I, Tenemos que agregar. I don't, I don't remember the pronunciation. Invited, no. invited, invited, invited. Mm -hmm. I invited. Mm -hmm. uh, friends over mm -hmm. and I cook 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 it cooked right cooked cooked spaghetti I don't remember the correct the pronunciation thing. okay we're going to see that okay yeah. don't worry <laughs> okay so oh uh, I, I I will do you have questions guys Questions about the, the the structure, about the verbs. Do you have any questions? Or are we okay? Yes, we are okay because you know, questions. Okay, so let's identify here the, the sentences in the simple past. Vamos a identificar las oraciones in simple past. Okay, tenemos the first one que is walked right in the second one what cuál es el verbo right que me indica que estamos en simple past who can tell me number two can you help me um, let's see jose leonardo cuál es el verbo que me indica that we are talking in the past let us see light hay algún otro is there any other what was that's right okay perfect uh, Adonias okay and uh, the letter C ¿Cómo me quedaría? ¿Cuál es el verbo for letter C? Can you went. help me? I'll, yeah went and letter D ¿Cómo me quedaría? Letter D what is the verb or the verbs? Stayed Stayed we have them. very good stay and is there any other? We... ¿Qué otro okay. verbo? Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es otro verbo? Where, 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 right? That's right. It's where. And letter E. I don't like the theater, but I saw the play anyway. What is the verb? Oh. So. So. Oh. So. So. Okay. And letter F. Studied. Studied. Very good. Studied. Yeah. Is there any other? Passed. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Okay, any other guys? And letter G, what about letter G? Did. I did, did right, yeah. Perfect. Did. Letter H, what about letter H? What are the verbs? What are the verbs? Was. Was. Okay. Hay otro, there is another one. Told. And yes. ¿Cuál es el, este, ¿Cuál es el presente? What is the present of thought? Yes. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es el presente de thought? Think. Yes. Right. Uh -huh. Think. Think. Think, right. Pensar. Yes. Okay, what about letter I? Oh. Have. Muy bien, very good. And letter J? What, what is the verb? Bought. It is? Bought. 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 And another, guys, what is another? Game. 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 Game, that's right. Okay, questions? Or are we okay? No questions? Okay, guys. So let's move on to some um, practices, right? Mañana, um, that we practice the pronunciations for uh, this part. Because the pronunciation is certainly important. Okay, we have these two exercises. So what we are going to do is to practice, right? We are going to do the first one as a negative, right? Negative sentences in the simple past. And in the second part, you are going to use the verbs you have in the box and conjugate them based on the simple past. Okay, if you have questions, it's going to be easy and easy. I'm gonna give you, let's say like, 10 minutes for that, and you are complete. No questions about the activities? No? Okay. So let's move on to the breakout rooms so you can practice with your partner. Okay, let's see. Yes, yes, Alpha. Yes, I'm going to share the, the exercise. Okay, let's go. Hello, Adonias. Remember, you have to go up to the break.
Do you have questions? Jonathan, ¿verdad que no en todo le vamos a poner did not, verdad? Yes, all the first part, la primera parte, the first part, yes, but the second one, no. Primera parte. The first one, mm -hmm. yes, they are negative, right? Okay. They are going to be with did not. And the second one, you, you have to identify the parts that say negative. En la segunda parte, eh, vamos a, a usar los dos tiempos. Por ejemplo, para identificar si es negativa, usualmente les aparece, eh, por ejemplo, esto, les aparece not. Entonces, en el momento que les dice not, es porque la va a ser negativa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Basically, that. Uh -huh. okay. Remember, if uh, we have time, tenemos la siguiente tarea, that you have to choose five questions, right? You have to choose five questions and discuss about that. So you can choose any of the questions and discuss some of them, okay? Este, la segunda no, no tenemos, teacher. Yes, it is in WhatsApp. Ya se la okay, okay, teacher. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. So I let you work, guys, and see you soon. Si yo lo muevo, se le mueve a usted también. Sí, se mueve. Ay, perdón, disculpe, no me había dado cuenta. Entonces sería he view like, him, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Hello, guys, do you have questions? José and Adon Adon Adonías. Questions? Are we okay? ¿Estamos bien? Are we okay, sí. guys? Yes, pues, yes. Vamos a, a rellenar de mí como el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Si es positivo o negativo. En el caso de la primera, solo sería negativo. The first one. The second part, you have to, uh, you have to use both, affirmative and negative. Dependiendo del verbo que le den. Sí, vamos a utilizar el, el, el auxiliar did. En la segunda parte, second part, Adonis, Adoni, second part. Ajá, sería en todas las... La parte donde hay que llenar. Uh -huh. No. Tendríamos. Not, not all. No todas. Usualmente le va a aparecer el not. El not, ahí en ese caso sí va a utilizar el did not. Por las demás, no lo vamos a utilizar. Ok. So, uh, there is another task that I shared in WhatsApp. Don't forget to check that. Otra tarea que les he compartido en el WhatsApp, so don't forget to check it. Ok. Ok, I let you okay. work, guys. Hello, Alfa and Joma, do you have questions? No, I see aquí algo perdido como en Jumanji. <laughs> You tell me why you didn't find the, the, the dice. <laughs> es que como está en negativo, ¿eh, Ticha? La primera parte es negativa, yes. Entonces Pero estábamos no con la duda uh -huh. de si poníamos otra vez tiden. ¿En la segunda parte o en la primera? En la tercera. Ah, en la tercera, tercera línea. En la tercera ah. línea, todas serían negativas en este. It didn't like. Yeah. Didn't like. Didn't like. Uh -huh. Y en el, en el otro solo habíamos puesto learning. Learn. En el dos, learn. Learn. Y después, he didn't like. Eh, no, in that case, solo vamos a utilizar, por ejemplo, he didn't learn. He didn't like. He didn't pass. Uh, Ah, okay. Todos bien, didn't. Ah, okay. Bueno. 
a excepción de la, del segundo párrafo. El segundo párrafo ya cambia. Ah, ok. Entonces no tenemos que poner el, el verbo en pasado. En esta parte, Ajá. sí, ya cambia. Tenemos que ver los verbos que nos dan. Ah, ok. Pensamos que teníamos que pasarlo todo a pasado. Todo el primer párrafo es en negativo. Es en negativo, así es. Ah, ok. A excepción de, de la segunda parte, que si nos aparece el not, sí lo vamos a hacer en negativa. Sí, ahí la segunda parte ya se ve todo. Exactly, that's right. Ah, ok. Bueno. No, no nos olvidemos de revisar el WhatsApp, porque si, si tenemos tiempo, como se está fallando. Mira, pues ya me falló. Ok, si tenemos tiempo, eh, me gustaría que you have to choose five questions and discuss the questions with your partner, ok? If we have time. If not, it's going to be a homework. Ok? Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you. Ok, work guys.
Está difícil, teacher. Sí, it's, it's hard. Is it difficult, Alfa? Is it? Yes, tendría que traducirlo bien todo para poderlo comprender. Sí, lo confieso. Okay. Ok. So let's try to, okay, but let me check what time it is. Okay, it's going to be almost time. Okay, uh, tomorrow we are going to continue with this part. La vamos a resolver. We are going to uh, have an answer for this. But tratemos de hacerlo and les pediría nada más que como tarea, right? As a homework, que escojamos cinco preguntas. And you're going to answer, right, with your information. Y mañana lo vamos a compartir también. Okay? So, uh, if there are no more questions, guys, I will say goodbye. And have a good night, guys. Okay? Rest Thank you. Night. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. See you guys. Bye.